this hand. Not what we want, we want to go down fast. This is basically the same, only with one chain well or less. What the hell? Hello and welcome to another Magic or in the Deck Tech video. And this time we are looking at Mono Red Aggro. Why you ask? Well, since the War of the Spark has just released and new sets tend to be full of new cards, people like to try new stuff out and we are taking advantage of that by playing a very streamlined, aggressive deck that basically uh, should take advantage of that and win lots of games. Um, previously I wasn't that high on Monored, but uh, I've played it a bit and I must say it is a blast. The games are fast, uh, you can uh, win efficiently, um, gain ranks and basically um, it's very nice to get the first four wins of the day to just um, line up a little bit of ladder matches, play and be done with it. But also um, the deck is not as simple as some people would say, since there are very much um, enough uh, instances of um, game states, sports states, where you have to think what am I going to do, keep some burn spells back to use them later in um, a more efficient way and stuff, but that we will see in the games. Let's have a look at the deck. It's basically um, a mix of uh, fast, efficient creatures like the Fanatical Firebrand with Haste, the Gitu Lava Runner, who comes in early as a 1-2 for one mana, or later if you have sorceries in your graveyard, um, as a 2-2 for haste, we have the Runaway Steamkin, which can make some ridiculously nasty turns where you chain one mana spells, then add counters, remove the counters, get three more red mana, then chain some more spells. Like with this, we can kill people on turn three or four if we have the perfect draws. And that's just who. Um, the Vashir Pyromancer is basically a little burn spell on a stick, two mana, two one, that deals two damage to a player or planeswalker. Um, Goblin Shane Whirler is um, yeah, a 3-3 three, three first strike, which is good to get through creatures. Also takes care of some small stuff that tends to block our early creatures. Also um, enables Spectacle with the one damage to the face. And that's it for our creature suit. We do have uh, four shocks, four lightning strikes, four skewer the critics and three lightning strikes as our burn spells. Lightning Strike um, getting cheaper due to the four Lava Runners and the four Pyromancers most of the time. And Skewer the Critics, uh, well, with everything like uh, a ping from the Fanatic Firebrand, Shock, Chain Whirler, just an attack with the creatures. Um, there's enough ways to turn this on to deal three damage for one red mana, as well as um, Exile two cards, basically our card draw with Light Up the Stage. Um, later in the game, we can also use Risk Factor to deal either for damage or draw more cards. Um, but with how much damage we are dealing with the rest of the deck, um, we are most likely getting cards with this. Um, in the, the first cast, they most likely take the four, but after that, they should be low enough to um, gain us the cards or win the game outright when we recast that with jumpstart. So yeah. Um, a new addition from Wrath of Spark is Chandra Fire Artisan. She's basically, um, if we play her, um, card draw in case of uh, the plus ability, exile the top card and we may play it this turn. Um, not as good as the color dish genre, which uh, would have dealt two damage if we didn't cast, but hey, um, this one lets us uh, ping for damage if we remove counters, so if they want to get rid of her, we get to ping damage and if we uh, have her on the field for three turns and plus her all the time, we can just minus seven for seven damage and lots of card draws. So a little bit of inevitability here. The sideboard has a Dire Fleet Daredevil, which can, um, for example, against control, take uh, Raskar's Contempt out of their graveyard and remove their Planeswalk or something. Lava Call against the creature decks. Drakes, um, Wild Growth Walkers and such. Legion Warboss is a nice threat against control decks as well since it tends to grow bigger and bigger and basically uh, scale well into the later turns. Risk Factor, just another yeah, one of those to basically get some more card draw in um, trading some of the burn spells. Tibbles against uh, the incidental life gain as well as uh, little nice 1-1 tokens who can deal the damage to um, 
Turn on Spectacle, Experimental Frenzy, um, additionally to Risk Factor, and two Rekindling Phoenix um, to go a little bit over the top of uh, creature decks and stuff. Also nice against decks that don't have Exile removal, like uh, the red based removal or stuff. Um, you can also... Well, you can, I can't because I don't have any yet. Um, put a Sarkin in the sideboard, which is basically a, a five mana 4-4 four, four dragon that stays on the field and can turn into a dragon the next turn. If you have Chandra, you can turn her into a dragon next turn and yeah, that's very nice. Also the passive, whenever you, a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, each dragon you control this one damage to that creature. Um, might not seem important, but it can be. So if you have Sarkans already, jam them in your sideboard and have fun um, going over stuff. Um, there is also the possibility of playing stuff like Sarkin and the Rekindling Phoenix in the main board, but that would be um, what is um, generally called a big red, which is a whole other deck strategy. So yeah, this is mono red aggro and let's go into a few ranked games with this and kill people just as fast. Um, in case you haven't yet, I've also been streaming lately, so if you like, there's a link down in the description um, showing you off to my Twitch, so feel free to have a look there. Uh, this hand, not what we want, we want to go down fast. This is basically the same, only with one chain well or less. What the hell? <laughs> okay, Steamkin is fine. Let's have a look at what we are playing against. Really weird. <laughs> so let's see. Hello, Nissa. Nice to meet you. A mono white. Okay, so Chain Willow will do lots of work here. Um, I'm not going to remove that because Steamkin first and then we will hopefully draw the Chain Whirler. If not, we can just shock this, grow this and hopefully have a, an attack. Um, we do however need... okay, Tithe Taker. Oh boy, the Chain Whirler would be so good this turn. Um, yeah, we, off, we, we need our third mountain. Bad. If not for this, then uh, to have a Wizard's Lightning to kill their uh, Benella Marshall. And... Uh, nice. <laughs> Just as planned. Zing. There goes that little token spirit of you go. In the face for two. I'm pretty sure you won't be blocking. I don't really see that, however. Yes, nice. Um, ooh, not doing anything. Well, don't mind if I do. Play a Fanatic Firebrand then. Attack with everything. If he wants to block this, sure, I won't mind. I'm going to get in for six more damage. So, um, some... Nice stuff we can do, well, could have done right now is shock something, then have another counter on this, put them off and Wizards Lightning something, but um, yeah, going to do that right now. Put the fourth counter on that and then we basically won. Yeah, another mana. Now we could, what we could do is attack with those two, deal seven, and then play with its lightning, but we also could take the counters off and play another one. Oh, we do even need to do that. Math. 11 minus seven is uh, four and not five. So like this, six mana turn, easy peasy, and this is back to three, three, so yeah. This is the strength of Runaway Steamkin. If you manage to keep it on the field. Let's go for another round. I am burning for more victims, you could say. 
Um, yeah, this end is very, very fine. Turn one lava runner, we will see if they do something um, on their, well, second turn because they start and then most likely play the pyromancer and then do whatever. Okay, blue, uh, white, black, that could be uh, an indicator of, well, Forsaken Sanctuary, could be an indicator of someone who doesn't have that much stuff yet. Um, we won't be playing the land yet because light up the stage could find two more and then we would waste the card. Well, no land here. So let's just do this end. This yoink. Next turn we are going to play Pyromancer, play Skewer the Critics and then attack with those for four more damage. Nice it. Okay, fine by me. Um, do we care for that? They may be able to find something to... Okay, Dovin's Veto. Don't really care about that. Um, the question remains, do we want to kill her? They could find something with it. Is it worth the three damage? Hmm. I guess it is. Just to be sure, this on that. And then hit the face with the two lava on us. <coughs> Don't want them to find a bot wipe or something like that. That would be no no. Dovin's V2, not helping against anything we're doing right now. Shock. Um, don't want to play this. We can deal six and then seven with this. No, I don't really, I don't really see a reason to play anything right now. Well, let's just end the turn. Let's have a look if they have a bot wipe or something like that. We do have enough damage in hand to kill them if they manage to remove something. Cry of the Canarium. Ah, yes. That's why we didn't play much more. Um... So let's go with the Lava Runner for two, three, for five. Um, not really helping. I guess we can be playing this as well. And have them at four. Unless they have another board wipe. We should be fine. Ooh, I like the artwork on the new lands. <laughs> Okay, so what do you... Ooh, nice. Um, not going to play that though because of Dovin's V2. Not yet, at least. Let's attack first. Most likely Ruska's Contempt. Oh, Mortify. Okay. Um, so, what are we going to do now? We are going to play Chandra, have them counter that and then shock them in the face for the win. Not gonna let that resolve. Easy! <laughs> oh, I love Mono Red. Zing! Welcome to gold. Let's go for another one. Oh boy. This is um, basically what I have been... Um, telling you about at the beginning. The games are fast, efficient, you either win fast or you lose fast. Like, um, if I hadn't won this um, by this turn or the next, I don't think I could have done anything. Well, I go first, but this hand is meh. I need the second land badly, so let's just... Uh, this is arguably worse. Let's just keep it and hopefully find the next land. To be honest, I don't have that much um, experience, so I'm not sure if I should have kept the 
first hand, but I guess for that you need to have played a lot with it. Well, at least we have our second land for the lightning strike. I'm going to keep that up, not play Skewer right now, because why would we? Playing against Rectus, it seems. Okay, Fireblade Artist. Are you attacking me? Yes, you are. Am I going to lightning strike you? Don't think so. Not yet. And there we go. Light up the stage. Cause it's time for a showdown. Yeah, there we go. Two lands. Um, do I want to skewer? Uh, nah. Let's not yet. Going to play the chain while well next turn. And then do not ping the artist. Ooh. Hold a second. <sighs> Fuck you. Um I hate so much that you don't get um get a chance to react to this before this comes into play. Ooh, Chandra is also nice, but we do need to take care of this Legion war boss. Submit and go. Sometimes you don't go face all the time. <laughs> At least we now can play Chandra. Ooh. I hate, hate, hate that. Because we can't really deal with that. Yep. The funny thing is, um, what does she damage actually? Target opponent or planeswalker. Okay. No, I wanted to play that. Oh well. Ooh, Dreadhorn Butcher. Now, now you're doing stuff. So, are you going to kill Chandra right away? Oh no, he isn't. He's going for the face. Interesting. Question is, who's going to be faster? Right now I'm seeing him. <laughs> okay, I, would, I could make with another... Um, another chain whirl or something like that. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I'm bad. Um, okay, so let's do something here. We are going to hit with the chain whirler. Is he blocking actually? Screw you, man. I wanted to kill this for just three. Damn it. Okay, what are we going to do now? Um, play the chain whirler for zero, I guess. And then screw the face or screw the dreadhot butcher. Uh, he's going to play that again. Yeah, let's go with the butcher. Getting two in the face again. Yes. This is fine. Unless there's two burn spells. Okay then. Oh, another phoenix. That's great. Um, so can we somehow win this? I'm pretty sure he's going to block with that. So let's attack first. Yeah, blocking one. And now I would need to deal nine, but I only have six, which means 
that we have lost this. <laughs> Damn it. One turn. Then I could have um, minus ultimate Chandra. Damn it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have killed the butcher. Could have let that through, but then that would have been risky as well if he had like a shock or something. Oh well, can't win them all. Um, this, this is very fine. <laughs> this is a nice hand. Card draw, early damage, later damage. Our opponent goes first sadly, but there's nothing you can do about that. We can attack with this. Yes, keeping this for sure. This is basically a perfect, well, not perfect, but a very good hand. Ew. Hmm. I guess we don't attack then. <laughs> Let's see if they have... Okay, sure. Oh, he didn't even have the... Huh. I was expecting a charter course, to be honest. I am also expecting a... Wizard's Retort. So I'd much rather have the Pyromancer gone. Ooh, Essence Capture even. Yikes. Maybe he had both. I don't like where this is heading. <laughs> um, so what do I want to kill now? Um, I guess this one, because it protects the djinn. Later we can hopefully wizard retort and uh, lightning that. Of course we do have another one. play around spell pierce anyway. Oh, don't have to. That's nice. Um, play a lava runner and hit for two more. And now he is in trouble because he can't really attack. Oh, curious obsession on that. Hmm. What to do? Can I kill him? Is he searching for counter spells now? Not sure really. The problem is if he has a counter spell. Oh, okay, he doesn't. Have, he doesn't seem to have something. Okay, Mr. Terrell is fine. Um, let's attack with both right now. Light up this. Well. Okay, he doesn't have anything. That's what I like about Arena, unless you um, manually put the um, control mode in, you do have a problem. So what are you going to do now? Nothing? Nothing. Likey. Um, Let's go with Chandra. I knew you needed my help. What can we get? A mountain. Why, well, of course, I want to play that. Um, going to take with these two. I know he will most likely block the pyromancer. Some 
time later. Oh, it decides to do that now. Okay. That means we can attack later. If he had a dive down or something to make his um, Hellroad bigger. Could have easily killed that this. Um, yeah, I guess that should be enough to show you why you want to play Mono Red. <laughs> because it's tons of fun. You get through your games quickly and um, basically have game against almost everything apart from the um, hardest counter decks, like a full-on life gain deck might not be the best matchup for you, but how often does that happen? Um, well, um, I wish you um, fun playing this. Uh, there may be uh, changes coming to this later down the line when people um, find some new tech or something. As I said, there will also be big red most likely. Um, but this is it for the aggro version right now. Have fun playing it yourself, burning people out in Magic Arena. See you again next time. Ciao.